So my wife and I have this gate on the side of our house and we really wanted to be able to lock it with a combination lock. And so I found this online on Amazon. This is called the Combi Bolt. Uh, and there'll be a link down below that supports my YouTube channel if you purchase through Amazon using that link. And I'm gonna explain to you how to set it up. So it's just gonna allow us to lock the gate shut so that no one can open it. So I'm gonna line it up here so that when it's open, there's a little bit of space and then just use one of the screws to mark where the four screws go in. Then I'm gonna drill some pilot holes. These are 764 inch pilot holes. You see where those marks were? There it is. Now this will mount two ways. One is if this was level here, it could mount on the surface, but this is actually gonna go into the side of this two by four here. So let's go ahead and we'll put the screws in. And these are actually, they call them security screws. So they only go one direction, they'll only go in. It's impossible to get them out. I'm not sure how you get them out if you need to. So because my drill bit is actually a Phillips, I'm just gonna use a, uh, a hand screwdriver just because it's faster than going downstairs to find to find the right bit. Sometimes it's faster to do things by hand. And now I'm gonna mark where this center of this is, just by pushing this back a little. Yeah, that's about the center. And I'm gonna install this plate right there after I drill a hole in the wood. So I've switched over to these flat drill bits because I didn't have a half inch drill bit in this set. Uh, so I'm gonna drill a half inch hole into this two by four here. And you wouldn't need to do that if you were surface mounting and using this, but I don't have that situation here. So I'm gonna drill this hole now in that spot that I marked. So now I'm gonna add this metal plate just to be a little extra secure. I'm gonna mark those spots and drill pilot holes once again. And so we just want to make sure that it slides all the way in and you'll notice that it doesn't slide all the way 100% back and I'll explain that in a second. We are going to set the combination. So you'll see the little indentation here. So this by factory is set to 0000, and it reads this way. You can see kind of the direction the numbers are going. And so if it's something other than 0000, it's locked. So right now, we put it to zero, all zeros and slide back. Now this is where you slide all the way to the left and you can reset the code. So you'll use a screwdriver here to loosen this piece and then this pulls out and it goes all the way back and then you can actually push it in again and it'll hold it in that position while you set the lock. So we'll just set it to one, 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 one. I suggest you set something more secure than that. And then just pull that out, release it back Tighten it up. And you'll see here it's open, but we change it to something else and it's locked. So that's how you set the lock is set it to the proper code, unscrew and push it all the way over while pulling up and then push that center screw back down and it'll lock it in place while you set the code. So my wife just asked what keeps it from anyone just setting a new code. And that is that you have to have the old code first before you can reset the code. So the lock has to be set on the open code and then you can reset to a new code. Now, two additional things to note. One is you can lock it in the open position, which is kind of nice if you don't want to get accidentally locked out. And the other thing to note is that there is this pretty big space here uh, that this automatically sticks out the end. It seems like the two pieces should be flush against each other, but that's not, not the case. So make sure you leave enough space for the part that uh, just has to stick out um, that won't go all the way in because of the way you set the lock.